It was very interesting to see how other artists work, especially on the, um, our residence in Estonia, in Tallinn, because it, you could see that we have different um, styles of work. So some prefer very concentrated, short work, some prefer longer processes. So it was very interesting to find this balance. But all in all, every exchange is a fulfillment. Every exchange is uh, adds something extra because even though we kind of live in a global world, I think local environments, um, the situation in their country still bring their own flavors, I would say. So it was very, very rewarding, inspiring, and it was nice to see how we kind of took everything together um, from our work with young people and also from what we do in our other projects. In Tallinn, we kind of agreed that because we have different visions for installation and because we all want to share our um, trails that project left in us, that we will change the plan and uh, make different installations instead of one, but they will be influenced by the same creative material. So I would say this was a challenge, but then when we found a solution, it was actually even more rewarding to see how other um, particip participants in the project and how other partners um, prepared and arranged their materials into different pieces, but with the same core, I would say. So uh, in Ljubljana, we worked with Stasha and Anna especially, and with um, great help of uh, Christian, Tia, Sandy, and the whole crew. And we've already worked before. So here it was much more synchronized, I would say. Uh, we were all very fast on board. And even if there were some creative differences, we could much faster come together Maybe it's actually the language thing, but I would also say it's the background. We all come from Pionirski Dom uh, in this or that way. So I would say that we, this common history helps that we can create things maybe faster. So I would encourage in future projects to have even more time for co-creation with others from different countries. And that I would think would give the time to overcome any obstacles and to maybe even prepare the, pro the same material together and to see you know, how that these different ways of working can come together in one piece. Yes, I think we were all heard uh, and we could all share our views. And I think this was actually the reason because we wanted to respect each other so much and there wasn't a person that would act as a creative director that would actually choose the pieces of um, installation that that's why it happened as it is. Uh, so I think everyone could actually bring their own small piece to this mosaic of installation. And in Ljubljana, like I said, it was really, really nice to, to see and hear um, how our ideas overlap and when one says something then other builds from that so i felt very seen and heard even at times when it was like ah i'm frustrated this was also respected so i think it's very good that you have a team that you can you know one takes over and brings the energy and then when you know when someone falls down then someone else takes over so this give and take this um, reliability of everyone it's super important because then we can really um, work all the time with different peaks of everyone and it's really a nice um, creation of everyone. Everyone and everyone and everyone. I think me as an artist, I got really nice glimpse into different um, ways of the art that I already know. So, for example, theater, you can have physical theater, improv theater, classic drama theater, and I could see right here in installation, how well you can then absorb text, um, other media forms, um, pictures, um, embodiment, uh, and uh, the, for example, movement piece in it. So for me, it was uh, enrichment in a way of um, um, yeah, intertwining different artistic methods, but not only that, also different textures, different energies, and um, to really think about the atmosphere and uh, spaces that we leave open to the audience. So I myself I'm come from maybe more theater that is based on words, so it was really nice to see this um, 
openness and of the abstract of dance and movement and the ideas we just kind of hinted and then the audience could make their own story um, on it. So I think this is the path that I'm definitely going to take in the future to leave more open spaces because there's always a dialogue between the work and the audience and uh, it's really, really nice to see if you have trust in your audience that they will be build their own story they actually can build much better stories or even more interesting or even those that you didn't have in mind than you wanted to in the first place so i would definitely bring more yeah more abstract work in my work I think project will continue in ideas. I think project will continue with work with the different partners. I could already see that um, for some work that we do, it would be great to have STL on board with their creative movement and contemporary dance work, especially work with queer young people. Uh, we were already invited into another project for, by Art Artisti Drama. So it's really nice to see this network of creative people throughout, throughout the Europe that you can then rely on. But I'm thinking that work continues because, like I answered before, we are all influenced by each other. So definitely I'll take a bit of Clara, a bit of Angela, a bit of Isadora, Luca, uh, Luis, uh, everyone that we worked with, of course, René, Cart. And it was really, really wonderful to have these people, because I think it's all about people in the end, touch me in a way that I can then continue my work, uh, especially work with youngsters in a different way. And that's why I think, um, yeah with this ends of the world that will keep coming, but also new beginnings that will keep coming, that I can insert these ideas that we've kind of built throughout this project. I'm working in Pionierski Dom for quite a while and it was really, really nice to see and hear how attentive they are. When the workload was too much, we invited new people. We invited Taya, dramaturg who helped us with the co-creation process. We invited Stasha, the dramaturg, artistic director of the installation to support us at a moment when it was the hardest because it's not just this project that I work on. So I would say that the relationship was great. Uh, the open communication is something I value so much and I'm really, really happy that it's this way. So I cannot think of anything that could be better. Um, just, yeah, more conversation, more talking, more communication. That's always great. But I'm thinking that it's really, really um, great environment to work in and uh, yeah looking forward to new action and projects together. Mm -hmm.